All right, what is up? We are live. Of course, the Bush Series race, or Xfinity Series race, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the big news was uh, Joey Gase throwing the uh, the back bumper after he ripped it off. They're going to have to, I feel like they're going to have to suspend him. And I think they're going to be hypocritical in that. But let me explain why I think they need to suspend him first. You're going to have to suspend him for insurance reasons alone, right? <clears throat> you can't have other drivers going out there and throwing uh, stuff like that. So that's that's going to be a bad look. That's a safety issue. And that's one of those things that they're going to have to uh, they're going to have to suspend him about. So I feel like that's going to come. He's going to get a fine, too. That being said, they're going to be hypocritical, though, because you know they're going to use that exact same footage to hype up a Richmond race. So you know NASCAR is going to use that footage and be like, oh, look at the crazy stuff that happens in NASCAR. And then they're going to hype up a race that way. But they're also probably, at, le at the very least, they're going to fine him. And they probably will suspend him, too, because you just can't do that at a racetrack. He walked in. Not, not only did he walk onto a hot racetrack, but he walked into the groove. So I feel like you like they suspended what Josh Williams. Uh, they suspended him for not staying by his car when he parked it at the start finish line. Right. Uh, I think he got a one race suspension for that. So and that was technically walking across a hot track, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly. So from that precedent, they're going to have to suspend uh, Joey Gase as well, I would imagine. And I, and I think the only reason they have to do it is because of, of course, you know, you got your insurance stuff you got to worry about. So uh, that being said, <clears throat> let's jump into a also good finish for Bubba Pollard. Bubba Pollard had a great finish there. Uh, basically, debut Xfinity Series race, finishes uh, sixth, out finishes all of his uh, junior teammates, uh, some of which had uh, engine problems. I know uh, it was it was weird. There were three cars that had uh, engine issues, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, super bad day for... Uh, Dang him. He had an engine issue. He he was having an engine go away, and then his brakes went away on him. Uh, Sheldon Creed, and then, of course, Brandon Jones had the engine issue. And Haley Deegan, uh, she had no power at the end of the race, so she either had an engine issue or ran out of gas. I can't remember exactly what happened. But weird to see three engine issues uh, over there in the Xfinity Series as well. Well, and uh, Taylor Gray, give a shout-out to Taylor Gray. Uh, his debut as well, and in his debut in that uh, Toyota, he finished third, so good run for him. He kind of got overshadowed by Bubba Pollard, but uh, Taylor Gray in his Xfinity Series debut, uh, you know, I think he uh, started 27th, so he started pretty far back there and then ends up finishing third. Uh, so good on him. Xfinity Series race was good overall. <clears throat> Pollard, man, it's killing me. Let's see. Now let's jump into the Richmond preview. Uh, with the most wins all time at Richmond, he's not in the race, though. That's going to be Richard Petty. Bobby Allison is uh, second. But of, of the active drivers, the next closest is going to be Kyle Busch. He's got six wins here, and Denny Hamlin has four. But let's go into average finish and do it like we normally do it. Josh Berry, best average finish of 2.0 since 2021. He's only been in one race, though, so he's only been in one race. So I don't know how that's going to bode for him. But Denny Hamlin has the best average finish of the drivers that have competed in the six races since 2021 at 5.2. Just below him at 5.8 is Martin Trix Jr. Christopher Bell, 6.5 right below them. Joey Logano, 7.0. So looking like it's going to be a strong, strong uh, Toyota weekend, just like it was uh, in the Xfinity Series. The first uh, non-Toyota there uh, in a Ford. Then you got Kevin Harvick, who's not in the race. But if you factor in that Josh Berry finished second here, uh, and you put Kevin Harvick where he's at uh, with an average finish of 8.3, you would imagine that the four car would probably be good here, but you never know. Kyle Busch is next on the list at 8.7. Chase Elliott at 9.6. Kyle Larson, your pole sitter at 10.5. Alex Bowman, 11.2. Eric Almarola, 11.7. Brad Keselowski uh, at 11.8. And I think rounding out your top 10 would be uh, Ryan Blaney at 13.0. And don't sleep on Austin Dillon. Austin Dillon, 13.5. So let's go to your previous winners in the last six, and it's going to be six different guys. Chris Buescher, Alex Bowman, Kyle Larson, uh, Kevin Harvick. So once again, uh, strong, strong thoughts there for uh, Josh Berry. He could have a good run here. Uh, Martrix Jr., Denny Hamlin uh, are your previous six winners. Who has the most top fives in that time? And that's going to be Denny Hamlin. Out of six races, he's got five top fives. Christopher Bell has four. Joe Logano at three. Martin Trix Jr. and Kevin Harvick also join him at three. And then at two apiece are Chase Elliott, Kyle Larson, and Chris Busher. Let's go to last lid, because that is generally a good determination of who 
uh, does at least run well here. And a lot of people like to pick it off that. And once again, Denny Hamlin at the top. So Denny Hamlin, statistically, I feel like has to be your favorite driver. Uh, and then Martin Trex Jr. is going to be next there at 341. Joey Logano, not a lot of people talking about Joey Logano because he's had a slow start to the season. But 272, and he, he does get the job done here. This is not a necessarily a race where you have to have the best car. You just have to have the best setup that takes care of tires. So I uh, don't sleep on Joey Logano there. William Byron also in the mix here. Not a lot of people talking about him. A lot of people are talking about Chase Elliott and Kyle Larson. But 239 laps led for William Byron. I would have him in the conversation as well. Then you got Ryan Blaney, uh, Brad Keselowski, and Kyle Larson, and Ross Chastain all at 100 uh, or at least 100 laps led uh, with that particular group. Uh, all right, and if you go to uh, driver averages power ranking, Denny Hamlin, no surprise, is uh, on top at 119. 107 is going to be Martin Trace Jr., Joey Logano at 104, 102 for Kevin Harvick not in the race. But like I said, Josh Berry's in that car. Uh, and Christopher Bell, uh, 98 and 96 for Chase Elliott. So those are going to be your top five uh, as far as power rankings or whatever you want to call it for driveraverages.com. Uh, uh, let's see here. Let's go to the DraftKings. And they're laying out odds. They've got a... Uh, Plus 400 for Kyle Larson. So it's changed since I even put up plus 400 for Kyle Larson, plus 550 for Martin Trix Jr., plus 650 for Denny Hamlin, plus 700 for C. Bell, plus 1,000 for Ty Gibbs. Uh, that's probably a smart bet there. Like I just talked about with Joey Logano here, uh, plus 14, uh, uh, plus 1,400, I should say, along with Chris Buescher and Chase Elliott. They're all plus 1,400. Uh, and Keselowski and uh, Alex Bowman in that mix too. But yeah, Joey Logano, uh, he's, 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 he seems to be super underrated here. Uh, if you look at the numbers in the last six races, Willie B is going to be uh, plus 1600. That'd be another one uh, that might entice some people. Uh, and then you got uh, Ross Chastain might be another one down here at 2200. Bo Wallace, uh, 2,200 as well. He gets the job done at short tracks, and he qualified very well. Kyle Busch, I'll get to the qualifying here in just a minute. Kyle Busch is going to be another another good one here, plus 2,500 uh, for Kyle Busch. Josh Berry, plus 3,500. That's not the worst bet I've ever seen in my life because he definitely could get it done here. Like I said, finished second in the other race here, and he's in good. He's in a good car here, traditionally a good car here in the four car. And then let's see here <clears throat> who's going to be your biggest. Oh, Austin Dillon. Uh Plus 15,000 to win. I, I wouldn't necessarily take that, but to get a top 10 uh, plus 1,800, that might not be the worst bet in the world right there. Austin Dillon definitely gets the job done here. Although he's had uh, his second, uh, he's in his second uh, really bad year. Typically, he had been a consistent, solid guy, going to get you a lot of top 15s, top 10s, but uh, not the last two seasons, unfortunately. Uh, Eric Jones back there as well at plus 1,800. Uh, some, some people might take a waiver on him. Uh, but the uh, super long shot in this one is going to be Kaz Grala, followed by Daniel Hemrick and uh, Harrison Burton. So there you go. There are your uh, your DK, your DraftKings uh, odds or whatever like that. And then you got your head-to-heads. Uh, your head-to-heads, Chase Briscoe versus Alex Bowman, uh, plus 135 for Briscoe, uh, minus 180 for Alex Bowman. Uh, I would take Alex Bowman in that one. Seabell versus Ty Gibbs, flip a coin on that one. Kyle Busch versus Ross Jaspain. I would take Kyle Busch in that one, but I do feel like it's a coin flip. I mean, man, it's a coin flip. Kyle Busch is getting plus 120, Ross Chastain at minus 160. So right now, Ross Chastain is the favorite among people uh, that have thrown in uh, their coin. Then you got Brad Keselowski versus Tyler Reddick. Uh, Tyler Reddick seems to be the favorite in that one. Uh, Kyle Larson versus Truex. People are going with Larson in that one. Uh, Chastain versus Blaney. They're both at negative 115, so uh, good job, DraftKings. Oh, that's, a, that's a stupid bet. Don't do that one. Uh, William Byron, plus 155. Denny Hamlin, minus 210. Uh, William Byron is leading that one as far as uh, the odds go. Uh, Chase Elliott versus Alex Bowman, that's a, that's a push as well. Uh, Tyler Reddick versus Chris Buescher. Looks like Tyler Reddick is favored there. Larson versus Gibbs, that's a scratch, uh, according to the people that have put money down so far. Uh, Kyle Busch versus uh, Chase Elliott. Looks like Kyle Busch is the lead in that one. Uh, I'm sorry, Chase Elliott is the favorite in that one, uh, according to people who put it down. Uh, Chastain versus Elliott's a push. Kyle Larson versus Seabell. Seabell is getting the advantage in that one, uh, according to people. All the rest of these are going to be according to people who have put uh, stuff down. Uh, Ryan Blaney versus Chase Elliott, a push. William Byron versus Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson's uh, favored. Uh, Ty Gibbs, favorite over Martin Trix Jr., and Brad Keselowski versus Chris Buescher, a push. 
Uh, Larson versus Busher. Busher uh, uh, is the uh, underdog there. And Denny Hamlin versus Seabell looks like a push right there. That is that is a horrible bet right there. I'd hate to have to uh, I'd hate to have to pick that one for sure. All right, let's go to the starting lineup, and then I will jump into what you guys uh, want to talk about in the chats. Uh, just to wrap up that Xfinity race, though, Chandler Smith first, Eric Amarola second, Taylor Gray third, Corey Heim fourth, Jesse Love was fifth, and of course Bubba Pollard. In his first race, finishing or Xfinity Series race, first race ever, uh, finishes uh, sixth place. Uh, let's see here. Where did I? Where did I go with that? On the pole is going to be Kyle Larson, followed by Chase Elliott, Ross Chastain, Alex Bowman. First four are Chevrolets. Then you got the first Toyota there, Bubba Wallace, Todd Gilliland, the first Ford in sixth place. And then you got Martin Truex Jr., Ty Gibbs, Austin Sendrick, and Joey Logano rounding out your top ten. Like I said, don't sleep on old Jolo here. This might be where he gets the season going here today. Then you got Denny Hamlin, your odds-on favorite for this race. Uh, uh, Ryan Blaney. Oh, and by the way, who am I picking to win the race? I'm picking either Denny Hamlin, Martin Truex Jr., or uh, Kyle Busch. And I have backed that up on my DK, my personal uh, DraftKings account as well. Those are the three I'm picking to win the race uh, Ryan Blaney uh, starts 12th, William Byron 13th, uh, Chris Busher 14th, Kyle Busch 15th, Ryan Priest 16th, Noah Gregson 17th, John Hunter Nemechek 18th, Tyler Reddick 19th, and Daniel Suarez rounds out your top 20 uh, in 20th place there. And then the rest of the field is going to be Corey LaJoy, Austin Dillon, Brad Keselowski, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Carson Hostevard, Harrison Burton, Eric Jones, Zane Smith, Christopher Bell, Josh Berry, Michael McDowell, Chase Briscoe, Ty Dillon, Daniel Hemmer, Kaz Grala, and Justin Haley is starting shotgun on the field. All right, let's jump into the comment section to see what you guys want to talk about. I do have a poll question up. That was the odds when I originally posted this last night, early this morning, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, who are you picking uh, with the odds uh, right, right beside the name? Kyle Larson at 500, leading the way at 58%. But Martin Trakes Jr., Christopher Bell, and Denny Hamlin also on the list. Get those votes in now. If you want to sway that poll, if you don't, don't worry about it. All right, let's see here. <laughs> oh, happy Easter to everybody, too. Uh, happy, Easter, uh, happy Easter, Bruce. Uh, good to see you on here, my friend. Hope all is going well with you. Happy Easter. Should NASCAR race on Easter? I don't have a problem with it, Napa Racing fan. Uh, they get paid to do it, but but as far as driving the car, it's not really a, dry, uh, a, a job. Uh, when you're actually – the job is preparing for the race. Racing in the actual race, uh, I don't know. I don't think that really feels like a job to them. Same thing with the crew members there. I feel like you have fun on Sundays. Uh, the work is the week before. So uh, I don't have a problem with it. But some people do, and I understand their perspective on it, the people that do. I just personally, I, I don't have a problem with it. Uh, top three impressive uh, for the debut, says Leon's Automotive. But really, if you've got a problem with NASCAR racing on Easter Sunday, if, if you're a Christian, you would have a problem with them racing on Sunday, period. Uh, the Jewish Sabbath is on Saturday, so they would have, I guess, technically a problem with the Xfinity series. So it's all, uh, it's all in how you, uh, I don't know, which I'm not getting into that. We're not talking about religion. Uh, anyway, uh, three impressive, uh, top three is impressive for a debut. So like, yeah, yeah. Uh, the great, the great kid, he's really good. He raced in Orange County, uh, in late model and he's, uh, he's a really hard nosed, uh, he's, he's not going to take any junk from anybody. Uh, driver, so uh, I'm big on him. Uh, I know I know Tanner uh, won the uh, the drag race and stuff, but I'm, I've always thought Taylor uh, has showed more promise as far as uh, going in circles. Uh, Pollard had a very good uh, debut. Hope JRM lets him run Iowa. I hope he gets a few more races out of this for sure. Uh, I'm with you there, Napa Race fan. Uh, go, go Blue Ovals, uh, Ford driver with the upset of HMS and Toyota today, says Bruce. At some point, Ford is going to break through. It's either going to be, I feel like, Ryan Blaney or Joey Logano. Uh, those are that's who I'm leaning toward right now. Uh, I don't see uh, I don't see any of the other four teams really like on top of it. That being said, RFK this is a good track for them, uh, and hopefully uh, Brad Keselowski can break through. Uh, that would be a huge story. Poor Sam Mayer says Napa. Yeah, worst luck in the world. I agree with you, Napa. Uh, my top five prediction is no uh, order: uh, Bill Hamlin, uh, Bowman, uh, Larson, and Barry says Leon's on move. That's not that's, that's not a bad uh, top five there. Uh, let's see. Uh, good morning and afternoon. What's up, wise guy? Also, happy Easter. Any chance Chase Elliott can win today? Oh, yeah, he's good. This is a good track for him. Uh, I think we went over the stats earlier, so uh, he's, he's got a good average finish here, and he can definitely get the job done here, no doubt about it. Injured cars look to be fast. That's also going to help him out there. Any chance Chase Elliott's uh, and Bruce Reed re-upping, man. Uh, fist bump to you, my friend. 
Appreciate you re upping. Uh, let's see. Uh, any chance uh, Chase Elliott can win today? I just, uh, happy Easter, everyone, says Say Cow. And let's go, Slick Bill Byron. Uh, hello and happy Easter to all, says Shaw. Uh, so, uh, double duty, getting ready for Easter dinner, hiding eggs for the kids, uh, too. Uh, we got our uh, hands full, says uh, Bumblebee. For sure, for sure. Hopefully, you don't find any of last year's Easter eggs. Uh, and if you do, don't eat them. Uh, don't be throwing uh, bumpers at each other uh, in the chat. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, like I said, I don't necessarily have a problem with it, but he did walk into the racing groove. So I feel like from an insurance perspective, NASCAR is going to have to do what they do, but they're also going to use it to promote. They're going to use it to promote Richmond next year. So uh, they're going to be hypocrites about it too. Thoughts on Bubba Pollard yesterday. Bubba Pollard's a man. Like he, uh, it's rare that he doesn't get it done. So uh, I was not surprised, but I was definitely very happy. Logano be began the week at plus 2,200. Great value for the odds. Uh, increased after uh, qualifying. AD uh, has a knack for uh, Richmond Racecraft. Uh, top 10 bet is money, says Leon. Yeah, I feel like those are definitely two solid ones. Uh, you know, uh, for entertainment purposes only. But, like, you know, if, if I was uh, if I was spending some of my own money, if I had it like that, uh, those would be two that I definitely considered for sure. Chase Elliott wins, says Joseph Wooten. Uh, happy Easter B, says Leon. Uh, Joey Gase will forever be remembered uh, as the bumper thrower. Gase versus Cram. The rivalry we didn't know we needed, for sure. Uh, there is a link to the Discord there. One wise guy just dropped it. Appreciate you there, wise guy. I will be talking uh, here and there on Discord during the race uh, when I'm not taking notes and stuff like that. Uh, so, Gibbs Racing Boss. <clears throat> That's a tough question. I mean, he started 23-11, so I figured, I figured his last season in Cup, he probably would race for himself at least for one season. I always thought that that would be the case. And I don't know if that last season will be like a full-time season or if he'll do like a Kale Yarborough, which would be like sort of a bookend type deal because they both drove the 11. But Kale Yarborough ran uh, a partial schedule and was winning races uh, when he when he semi-retired or whatever. I could see Denny Hamlin maybe doing something like that. Uh, so we'll have to see uh, how it plays. I'd love to see Bubba Pollard do well. Yesterday reminded me of the SRA series having a local driver in the race, says Bruce. Yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely a good point uh, for sure. Um, and that's the that's one of the things I feel like that uh, tanked uh, the SRX series. I, I feel you, EB, trying to put uh, put down a toddler who absolutely does not want to nap right now, uh, so he can hide eggs too. <laughs> says say Kyle, hey, it's uh, that's 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 the life, my friend. That's the stuff you will look back on and be like, man, I miss those days when they get big. Uh, let's see. Speaking of SRX, has any new information come out about the purchase and possible race dates? So uh, Bondurant, uh, Bondurant Racing School or whatever purchased them. Uh, I don't know that any race dates or anything like that has come out, though. Uh, can we see uh, Tier 1 status uh, helping F uh, Front Row uh, soon or too soon to tell? If Stuart Haas uh, – oh, yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're definitely, they're definitely going to get help. That's, that's definitely going to help them. Uh, you see how much better they're running this season than, than previous seasons for sure. But I feel like it'll be an even tighter uh, – even, even tighter Tier 1 if and when SHR leaves. I feel uh, SHR will leave uh, for uh, Even though qualifying wasn't fantastic for Joe Gibbs Racing, I'm picking them to finish one, two, three, four. Toyota owns that track. There's a reason why it's the Toyota uh, owner's 400. Yeah, I agree with you. I'm, I'm still picking a Toyota, but when, whenever Kyle Larson qualifies on the pole, uh, you got to sort of uh, you got to sort of perk up. You know, you know what I mean. So uh, it is what it is. <clears throat> Oh, Bruce, uh, gifted, gifted five. I didn't, I didn't see. I just saw it pop up at the top. So I'm gonna give you one, two, three, four, five fifth fist bumps there, Bruce. I appreciate you, man. Uh, good looking out, my dude. Uh, let's see. And welcome to the uh, welcome to the members, uh, wise guy B Wooten, Sunny V, and Roofer. Welcome to the uh, member gang. Uh, let's see. Happy Easter, says B. I heard a rumor Ross Chastain was piloting uh, the ship that. <laughs> they crashed into the Baltimore Bridge, says Shaw. Uh, I don't think that was him. So, uh, And I'm going to stay away from that one because I feel like that's one of those topics on uh, the tubes that they don't want you to talk about. Uh, and uh, to, all, to all the people that uh, I think they did lose like five people there. So to those five people, uh, uh, thoughts and prayers uh, definitely going out to them. Hey, y'all from North Idaho, says uh, Cassandra Keller. What's up, Cassandra? What's up, North Idaho? Uh, Bruce Reed. Uh, coming in clutch, uh, says say Kyle. Uh, thanks for the gifts, uh, Bruce Buddy, says one wise guy. Hi, Cassandra, says one wise guy. Thanks, Bruce, says B. 
Uh, happy Easter. Will Ford have anything for Chevy and Toyota? I, I'm telling you, man, don't sleep on Joey Logano in this race. He's got really good stats here. And, of course, a previous winner from last year is one of the RF – oh, you're, you're saying right here. RFK might mix it up for a top ten. Maybe I should read the whole thing before I talk. Maybe. Huh? Uh, but will the Blue Ovals lead any laps? I think Ford will get up there and definitely lead some laps. I think that's a stone-cold lit pipe block right there. And, yeah, you're, you're on the money. I feel like RFK and then Joey Logano or uh, uh, Ryan Blaney had the better uh, – I think Ryan Blaney has the better numbers here. I don't think it's Cindric. So, yeah, Ryan Blaney or Joey Logano uh, or RFK, those, those would be the Ford drivers I look at. But every once in a while, man, this is a Michael McDowell track, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to go back and look at the numbers. But I wouldn't sleep on Michael McDowell either. Uh, and uh, Todd Gilliland, he gets better and better every single race, so you never know when he might break through and get one. Uh, Elite, what's up, my man? Uh, Rain is winning uh, tonight, <laughs> says uh, Elite. I hope not. I hope they get it in. Uh, <laughs> Bumblebee saying boo uh, about the rain. Uh, does uh, does Busher have a uh, sim here, says uh, one wise guy? Hopefully the rain holds off. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking, uh, thinking Busher... Uh, we'll have a good chance for sure. Uh, he's so hard to gauge because he just broke – he broke out last year, but I feel like he's been good for a long time. But he was finally in equipment where he could win last year, so he's so hard to gauge. Uh, you can't go off his numbers because he only had a good car last year. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, y'all, trying to listen while helping uh, entertain uh, the great niece. Oh, it's good, it's good you have family. That's probably the best part about Easter. People have family over. Uh, happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter, Elite. Every, hope everything is going uh, good up there where you're at, my friend. Uh, go Blue Oval, a four driver will uh, beat HMS and uh, Toyota. Today. And glad glad you could get off work, uh, Elite. I'm, they had Elite on some uh, on some weekend shifts, and and luckily this isn't one of them. So good, good, uh, good on you for not having to have a work uh, weekend shift. That's always a good day. Uh, go Blue Oval, a four driver will beat HMS and Toyota today. Uh, they're like like I said, man, don't sleep on them. Don't sleep on them. Especially, I'm feeling good about Joey Logano this race for some reason. I'm not picking him to win, but I, if I had a wild card pick, that would he would definitely be uh, one of the wild card picks. And Mayor and Josh Berry would be another one. So uh, don't sleep on Josh Berry. So those those would be my two uh, wild cards for the Ford game. Uh, Sam Mayer can't catch a break, y'all, dude. Sam Mayer, I'm I'm telling you, Joseph. Sam Mayer, if any like Sam, Sam Mayer, Austin Cindric, Austin Dillon, it's a bad day. It's a bad. It's a bad year to be a bad two years to be named Sam or Austin. You don't want to be named Sam or Austin in 2023 or 2024. It's it's not it's not been good for any of them. If Ford loses Stuart Haas next year, uh, then I think they're in trouble. Penske has been uh, known to switch. Uh, the only team I see sticking, no matter what, is RFK because of Jack Roush. I think front, I think front row would stick with them, too. I think front row is like it's it's kind of like the modern day equivalent of Roush, uh, Roush Racing. They started off slow, but they've built it up, and they've got their guy – I don't want to compare Michael McDowell to Mark Martin, but you get what I'm saying. He's been with Front Row for a really long time. Mark Martin was with uh, Roush for a really long time. That's the guy that they built Roush around. Front Row, Michael McDowell is the guy that they built Front Row around. And then you can see some other people joining in later. And I'm not saying Michael McDowell is on Mark Martin's level, but you get the analogy I'm making. Somebody, There's going to be a Mark Martin fan uh, that sees this either live or later on that's going to be like, Mark Martin's way better than Michael McDowell. Well, no shit. But you know what? <laughs> you get the point I'm making overall, hopefully. Uh, let's see. Uh, howdy from the Great White North says, Robin Marks, what's up, Robin? Uh, what's up, Canada? Uh, Gase's bumper throw <laughs> made national headlines to snap a race fan. Yeah, once it makes national uh, headlines, you know NASCAR is going to have to suspend him for a race for insurance purposes only, allegedly. But they're also going to use it to hype it up uh, like the wall ride. They outlawed the wall ride, but they hyped it up uh, in every every highlight reel. Am I the only one having issues with the live feed? I uh, froze a few times. I had to restart. I hope not, man, because it's not on my end. I've, I've done everything. I know my internet's good. So uh, YouTube has been sort of wonky here uh, recently on the live stream stuff. I see Denny Hamlin running select events and his equipment similar to uh, Jimmy currently, says Leon's Automotive. Yeah, I definitely could see that as well. Richmond, uh, night race back again. Uh, still should have had a uh, cup doubleheader this year since the schedule is uh, messed up due to the Olympics. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. I don't disagree with that. I, I love the doubleheaders. I guess not everybody loved them, though. Uh, I do like a doubleheader, though. Uh, a good thing about the uh, next TV deal is no more uh, mandatory, manda mandatory, mandatory Olympic breaks, uh, for sure. Aloha. Happy Easter, BB. Uh, happy Easter, everyone. I uh, hope you're not uh, having a joyous uh, day. I hope you're having a joyous day. 
Uh, go Young Money. So William Wagaman on the Kyle Larson uh, train. And Dennis Gillespie, what's up to White as well? I don't know if I said that uh, earlier either. Uh, Motor Mouse Larson will win in the five. Yeah, whenever he qualifies on the pole, look out. Uh, it, like him and Tyler Reddick, whenever they qualify on a pole, uh, and C. Bell for that matter too, you got to watch out. Uh, what's up, Chrome Diesel? Good to see you on here, my friend. Uh, uh, last time Logano won at Richmond is when they en encumbered his wins. Uh, still exist and when and encumbered wins still existed in 2017. Took points in a playoff spot, uh, but he got to keep the win. Uh, if that was the case, I I'm glad they got rid of that because I'd be like encumber all my wins because I will cheat and win every race. I don't care. <laughs> like, encumbered who cares so what take the points I, let, let me keep the wins uh let's see uh will we see the uh, tire fall off because in the record books when i retire the wins are what matter uh tire fall off uh, tonight similar to yesterday's xfinity race i uh, don't think we'll see bristol repeat uh, and the tires had slight fall off in phoenix uh which is tonight's tire compound yeah there's definitely going to be tire fall off uh this will be a tire fall off race and i think that's one i hope it's a, a really good richmond race i got my fingers crossed uh uh, hey, uh, happy Easter, mister. Uh, happy Easter, mister. Uh, let's go, uh, Martin Trex Jr. And then, uh, Gibbs boys, uh, says Booba. Uh, Booba, uh, what's up, Booba? I'm uh, glad to see you on here and happy Easter to you as well. Uh, yeah, I got lucky with not working today. Uh, but Rain trying to prevent me from catching a race now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, Elite, he's having, uh, he's having bad luck as well. He's in the, uh, he's in the Sam and Austin, Austin camp. He's, uh, he's having a bad luck year. Uh, as far as NASCAR goes. So hopefully it turns out, hopefully they get the race in for you. Uh, hopefully you don't have to miss it. What happens if USA uh, brands uh, pull out of NASCAR? <clears throat> Says uh, Brickyard Brickhead. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think, I don't think that will happen. So uh, I don't know. Hard to say. Looking at the radar, it looks like the rain will clear up by 5 30, 6 o'clock Eastern should be uh, good. I may uh, get a slight delay. I think even with the, uh, even with the rain, even if they run it at night, I think you're still going to see tire fall off. It's just a really abrasive track. Uh, somebody, somebody compared it to uh, Myrtle Beach, which Myrtle Beach was like a. It's just a. It's just a. Uh, what it, what was it? The cheese grater that uh, Larry Mack used. So uh, if it if it's anything like Myrtle Beach, uh, I've never walked on the on the uh, Richmond surface, or if I did walk on the Richmond surface, uh, I'm just gonna say it like it is. I was too uh, inebriated to pay attention. Uh, so uh, that was back in the day. I uh, drink responsibly. Uh, so I, I can't say what the uh, pavement looks like now, but they say it's uh, they say it's probably close to uh, Myrtle Beach when Myrtle Beach was running. So that means it's uh, it's a cheese grater. I was comparing lap times with uh, modified and cup. I'm terrified modifieds are 1.5 seconds quicker than Larson's qualifying time. Yeah, the thing with modifieds, they weigh less than the cup cars. You can put well, it's depending on what engine is in it. But either way, uh, you've got you've got bigger tires too. So the modifieds are typically always going to be quicker. The modifieds are way quicker. It's an open wheel car. They got bigger tires and they can put, depending on the modified series, you can put whatever engine you want to in it. Uh, certain engines get uh, way more weight put on. So some modifieds might actually weigh as much as a cup car, but you still got the wider tires. And obviously you're going to have more horsepower when you put whatever you want to uh, in it there. So yeah, the, the modifieds are, are, are stupid fast. They're fun to watch. Uh, don't quote me, but the radar uh, shows rain in and around 7 p.m. Looks clear after that, says Robin Marks. Hopefully they get it in. Hopefully they get it in. One wise guy, it's happened uh, three times so far, says Brickyard. Uh, over under eight cautions. Mm. I'm going to go under on this one. Richmond typically doesn't have a ton of cautions, but now that I've called the under, it's probably going to get more than that. Uh, Ty Dillon's first caution <laughs> before lap 30. So this this is a Ty Dillon race. Some, somebody, uh, somebody in the comments told me to stop kissing Ty Dillon's ass or something like that. I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, I, all I said was this is the best equipment he's ever been in. Uh, and then he gets, like, a lot of unnecessary hate. And so, I don't know. Apparently, I was kissing Ty, Ty Dillon's ass. I don't know. I don't get it. Uh, such language on, on on Easter. Let me stop and settle down here. Get in the groove. Uh, I'm not worried about the uh, Fords. Uh, they were exactly like this last year where uh, they struggled for the majority uh, of the season. Uh, and But I was quoting there. So, I wasn't uh, – that wasn't my actual uh, uh, language there. Uh, I'm, I'm not worried about the uh, Fords. They're exactly like this last year where they struggled for the majority of the season. Then guess what? They won the championship. There you go, Elite. Uh, this this actually reminds me, and I'll tell you another, uh, Chevrolet in like, uh, what was it, 2020? Chevrolet was str struggling in 2020, and then Chase Elliott wins the championship, uh, and the rest of the Chevrolet struggled. Or uh, was that 2020? Yeah, 2020. Uh, thanks for concern. Uh, thanks for confirming. Brickyard says one wild guy. Oh, okay, uh, cool, uh, Kyle. 
Uh, fingers crossed that the stay, uh, rain uh, stays away. Yeah, hopefully uh, the rain does stay away. Uh, BB arrives uh, at the pearly gates. Uh, St. Peter is a Mark Martin fan and wants a detailed explanation. Uh, he can get a detailed explanation. It won't be it won't be hard to prove that Mark Martin was a better driver. Uh, as it stands right now, a better driver than uh, Michael McDowell. Uh, Blue Ovals uh, will pick up uh, wins uh, around the NBC pickup. Yeah, I'm, I think I think they'll turn it around. Like I said, they've got the raw speed. You've seen the raw speed in the car. They've just got to figure out one little thing, and it's it's so close nowadays with basically this. Uh, I don't want to call it a kit car, but it's a kit car. You know what I mean? So everything's so close. Uh, tuned in late, wondering if you're uh, wearing uh, your pick uh, for tonight. No, but I do think it's going to be a good race for the Kyles. I think Kyle uh, Bush is going to get a top ten, and I think Kyle Larson is going to get the win. Uh, Kyle Busch, though, with the most wins here, so you can't sleep on him. Denny Hamlin, the next uh, guy with uh, with four. Kyle Larson, uh, Kyle Busch has six. Kyle Larson has two wins here. Uh, Bobby Allison, second all-time with 10. And Richard Petty uh, leads the way uh, at Richmond International Raceway uh, with 12. <clears throat> That's not counting Richmond Fairgrounds and all that stuff. So uh, Richard Petty leading the way with 12. Looks like his record is safe for another day because Kyle Busch is the next closest guy at six. Uh, let's see. The active driver, I should say. Uh, let's see. Uh, smart of NASCAR not to race against the NCAA this afternoon. Can't wait to watch uh, NC uh, uh, Duke versus uh, NC State. Yeah, that's going to be a uh, that's going to be a game right there. It's a rematch. Duke has beat them in the regular season. NC State beat them in the ACC tournament. So it's it's sort of a coin flip there. Uh, that being said, as a Duke fan, I'm surprised we made it to the Elite Eight. I'm happy with that. If we can make it to the Final Four, that's even great. But I believe the Final Four is the end uh, for Duke. If they uh, and NC State, there's no telling. If NC State, NC State's just been on a hot streak. Like there's no telling what NC State can accomplish. NC State's got the look of one of those teams that just runs it all the way to the championship game, a la Butler. Uh, and they've got the uh, the big dude uh, in the middle there, DJ. Man, he's he's doing it. He's doing it for all, all the big guys worldwide. So it's hard, uh, even as a Duke fan, it's hard to pull against uh, DJ there. Uh, for NC State, uh, did you uh, see the results of the uh, tire test at Sonoma after the repave? Uh, they picked up. Uh, two seconds. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, dude, whenever whenever they repave a track, it is always amazing at how much faster the cars are. Like, it is super. Uh, yeah, that's super cool. I, I like uh, even though it was closed to the public allegedly. Uh, I did like that somebody got some really good uh, photos. I can't remember who got them. I wish I could because they got some killer photos, man. It looked great. I think it was Colleague. If you go to Colleague's webpage, I want to say it was Colleague that got the really good photos there. Uh, speaking of roasting in the comments, uh, did you respond to uh, the EV comment? I did respond to him, but I'm not gonna. You know what? I'm not gonna flame him and make an episode. Like he's just a hypocrite. He said he said I was uninformed, and obviously he didn't do his research. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. There's no need to flame him. Uh, it is what it is. It was just one of the. It's it's top. He literally everything he said except for having the. Uh, except for having the converter where a hundred dollar converter piece where I guess where you could go to any uh, charging station you wanted to uh, every other point that he made was absolutely wrong. So I'm no need, no need. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to argue with an idiot because I'll get drugged down uh, to the level of an idiot and beat with experience. So uh, I'm just going to leave it be, uh, but it, it was, it was top 10 uh, dumbest comments of all time that I've ever read. Uh, let's see here. And it didn't bother me. It's just, it was so stupid. And, and I don't know. He, he acted superior and he was a moron, which doesn't surprise me. Uh, let's see. Uh, Michael, uh, New Jersey Diecast says, uh, Happy Easter, BB. My picks uh, are the 6, the 22, and the 38. I like those picks. Those are not bad picks. Uh, Todd Gilliland is going to break out. Uh, and you never know when he's going to break out. Like he he got criticized by Kyle Busch in the Truck Series for not running as good as Kyle Busch thought he should thought he should run. The very next race at Martinsville, he wins the race. Uh, I want to say, uh, and told Kyle Busch not even to come into Victor Lane. Uh, if, if anybody remembers that, so never sleep on Todd Gillowin. Uh Any and uh, let's see. <clears throat> and I agree that uh, Joey Gase uh, might get suspended for the next race, uh, and we'll need a fill in driver because he uh, threw the tail end panel for Graham. Yeah, I hate to see him get suspended, but I feel like NASCAR is in a box on that one because they've, they've already suspended a driver for walking on a hot track in Josh Williams, so there's precedent. And also, just from a uh, insurance safety standpoint, you got to do something to discourage it. Uh, practice uh, for qualifying, uh, turn into uh, – and, and Joey Gase knows he shouldn't have done it, right? So drivers don't walk on a hot track. Uh, practice for qualifying, turn into uh, one hot lap, then uh, tire management for uh, long runs. For sure, there's going to be a lot of uh, there's going to be a lot of tire management. Basically, in a race like this, people are going to want to get track position. 
and then they're going to try to ride it and hold that track position without giving up too much tire. That's typically it's it's pretty pretty much what you see in late models and stuff like that all the time. Uh, and some people like that racing, some people don't like it. I, I'm a late model guy, so obviously I love it. But I, not everybody's in love with it. Some people want to want, want the hardest tire you can possibly get and just go out there and run qualifying laps every single race. Uh, so uh, that or every single lap. So that's uh, that's what some people prefer. Uh, yes, rain is coming in, but uh, will it dry out or are we going to have a Monday race? Uh, enjoy. Uh, Joy Gates uh, should be suspended uh, more than one race. That what he did was BS. It was definitely unsafe. I understand he was mad, but you can't. You don't want to walk on a hot track period, but you definitely don't want to walk into the groove. And here's why I say that. Under caution, drivers are doing like a hundred things. Like it, it, at that exact moment, I know he was throwing at the guy on the inside. If there was a guy on the outside that was that his uh, spotter didn't see Joey Gates walk down there, and his spotter was like, hey, check your temps. Look at this. Look at this. If that driver is looking at his instrument cluster and doesn't see Joey Gates and hits him, we're having a different conversation today. Like, you know, everybody, if, if we're having that conversation to get today, you know, nobody's soft to me and oh, everybody's soft. Uh, this isn't NASCAR anymore. Nobody's saying that today because Joey Gates just got smoked by a driver and everybody's going to be blaming that driver. Like, how come you didn't see him? He was right in front of him. Well, probably because he was listening to a spotter and looking at his instrument cluster, trying to do whatever, whatever. So that's why you don't walk on a hot racetrack. The drivers are not always looking, uh, especially under caution, the drivers are not always looking uh, straight ahead when when they're expecting nothing to be on the track there so dangerous situation and that's what i'm saying from a safety perspective you've got to suspend him one race i hate to see it because i understand where he's coming from but that being said you got to do what you got to do because what he did uh it was not bright uh happy easter i like this like saying happy to everybody happy easter like this like uh, any concerns uh with my lineup the five the 48 the 19 the 11 uh and the 24 in the garage hmm Unless you're saving the 24, I would pop the 24 out here for the 48, but I think all your picks are solid. Uh, if, if you want to get a, a race out of uh, Bowman here, like he always finishes solid. I feel like this is a race that, that William Byron can win, though. Uh, he's He's got underrated stats here, but that's that's like nitpicky stuff. Your, your, whole, your, whole, your whole lineup is good. Uh, the only thing, and like I said, just super nitpicky. I think I – think, uh, I don't know that Bowman watch, – watch Alex Bowman win this race because I'm about to say this. I don't know that Alex Bowman can win this race, but I'm pretty sure William Byron can. Uh, happy Easter, uh, everyone, says uh, Michael New Jersey. And I'm a big I'm a big uh, Alex Bowman fan. I just don't know if this is his particular track. Uh, but it could be. And, uh, hopefully he proves me wrong because I, I would like to see Alex Bowman get a win here. Uh, happy Easter, uh, everyone, too, uh, says Michael uh, New Jersey. Uh, let's see. Uh, Joey had uh, the fastest uh, forward in qualifying so far. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't sleep on Joey either. Uh, his finishes uh, <clears throat> uh, too, uh, too fledged to that at all. Uh, let's see. Uh, I forgot the uh, 12. Uh, he's my other starter, LOL. Yeah, the 12 is definitely good. I, I, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't worry about the 12 either. Uh, rain tires for tonight, uh, says Bruce. Oh, I, I don't think they'll use rain tires at uh, Richmond. It's, it's, too, uh, it's a little bit too fast for rain tires, I'm guessing. But you never know. NASCAR is NASCAR. Uh, Busher about to do his 300th uh, cup star. Hey, there you go. Uh, it, it's it's crazy that people uh, don't realize how long Chris Busher's been around. If you're driving through uh, Maryland uh, to get to Richmond uh, for the uh, race today, uh, give yourself extra time. 95's messed up uh, since the bridge is out. Hey, so there you go. That bridge's still out, uh, causing havoc uh, in the uh, in the northern Virginia, Maryland area. Uh, bring back the uh, Chevy uh, Rock and Roll 400. Oh, man, I'm telling you, those were the days, dude. I, I went to one of those races and Kiss was there. I went to one of those races and uh, Big and Rich was there uh, when they were promoting their first album, the one with, the, with like the blue and uh, yellow swirly uh, Save a Horse Ride a Cowboy album. They, I tell you what, a lot of people don't like them, but Big and Rich puts on a really good live performance. Uh, and Kiss, uh, they've never had a good album, but their live performance is really good. I know that's controversial, but I'll stick by it. I'll take that heat. Uh, EV comment from a superior uh, moron. Would, would that be a, <laughs> an oxymoron? Says uh, shop, yeah, I, I'm not gonna give that guy any more press. Uh, don't walk uh, on a hot track. Uh, just ask Tony Stewart. Says that, hey, there you go. I wasn't gonna bring it up, but uh, that's. I mean, we've seen what can happen, right? Uh, they need uh, they need to experiment on uh, short tracks with uh, running a uh, rain tire full time. Uh, yeah, uh, if if they're gonna if you're gonna have a rain tire and do it on a short track, you need to do it for like a whole day. You need to figure out, you need to just have two cars that are just ready to, two, three cars, I'm sorry, three cars, a Ford, a Chevy, 
and a Toyota, and you need to have them just with with the rain tires already on. Uh, and whenever it rains, I mean, NASCAR is based out of Charlotte and Daytona. You can't do it at Daytona, but you can definitely uh, go to short tracks around Charlotte. I'm thinking Hickory would probably be uh, one of the closest ones uh, to Charlotte. So just go to Hickory when it rains uh, and test it out over there at Hickory. Uh, damp track or whatever they're trying to do uh, with the tires. Uh, Toyota owns Richmond. Uh, it's in the name, says one wise. Oh, for sure. For sure. Toyota, Toyota always runs good at Richmond. My fantasy lineup is literally uh, just Toyota, all JGR, and 2311. Uh, says Napa Racing Fan. I, I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to say uh, anything bad about that. Will the race uh, uh, end in a long green flag run or uh, green-white checkers? We haven't had a green-white checkers yet this season. I saw, I think, Larry Mack put that stat, stat up. So this might be the race that gets a green-white checkered, but I think it's going to go green to the finish here. Typically, these races go green. For real, uh, checking temps, uh, getting water, snugging belts, checking switches, not to mention the chance of a lucky dog uh, swinging the high groove at speed. It uh, could have been bad. And then there's, the, like, just going to throw it out there, there's the rare situations like Juan Pablo Montoya, his steering locked up, the crazy uh, Steve Park wreck where, uh, where he was just warming it up and the guy was flying to the inside uh, for the lucky dog. Uh, so, I mean, you, cautions are not – Cautions are not necessarily as safe as people think they are. Uh, so uh, I didn't uh, – didn't someone rear end? Uh, I believe John Hunter Nemechek under caution at Richmond a few years back, wrinkled their front end completely. I don't know if it was at Richmond, but I, I remember what you're talking about. If that happens uh, and you're uh, rear-ended uh, in a vehicle, uh, you can hit a person. For sure, that's what I'm saying. It's not It's not as uh, – cautions are not as safe as, as you would think they are, but uh, it is what it is. Uh I understand Joey Gates being mad in that situation, <laughs> but you can't you can't walk into the groove. You shouldn't be walking on a hot track period, but you definitely don't want to walk in the groove. Uh, grooves are for grooving uh, on your short tracks. Prove me wrong, <laughs> says uh, Baron Von Weaves for sure. I, I agree with that. Grooves are definitely for grooving, my man. Uh, if this track uh, is abrasive, uh, why not use rain tires? I I mean, because rain tires fall off really quick. So the more abrasive the track, especially when there's not rain on the track, right? So uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's, I think there's just too much speed for a wet weather tire at Richmond, but I could be totally wrong. Uh, Horse of a Different Color was the uh, Big and Rich album. That's it for sure. I actually had the CD uh, at the time. Uh, only a uh, really good album from uh, Big and Rich. Uh, says Napa Racing Fan. Yeah, I, I won't disagree with that. That album uh, from front to back was actually really good because they had a lot of cameos of uh, people that went on to be uh, Gretchen Wilson. Nobody had really heard of Gretchen Wilson. She was on that album. Uh, stuff like that. So uh, that one was really good. And then they they had some, I would say, fair albums after that, but nothing anywhere close uh, to the first one. Uh, well, if it's raining tonight, then I uh, bring out the rain tires, uh, race on. Uh, says Sha, just uh, use the same tires they used at Bristol, uh, says William. They, they might be using the same tires. Uh, could, could see a lot of fall off here today. Uh, hopefully a Toyota, they're not, I'm just joking. Uh, hopefully a Toyota won't take uh, out the best Chevy on pit road. Uh, did the... Uh, Oh, yeah, US-1 Camaro, uh, for sure, for sure. Uh, did you see the uh, track uh, The track painter at Richmond uh, did not know how to spell NASCAR? Uh, I did see that. The Daily Downforce, I uh, pointed that out. And, and at first, I was looking at the Daily Downforce's tweet because they tweeted it that way. And I was like, oh, man, they missed the spelling in the tweet. Then I looked at the picture, and I was like, oh, I, I get what you're doing. I, I see what you're doing here, Daily Downforce. Uh, they're not really uh, rain tires. Uh, they are damp tires. The Martinsville uh, rain race for uh, trucks last year was awful. Uh, by the way, the, the Daily Downforce has the uh, the 75 greatest NASCAR drivers uh, on the Daily Downforce. And if you put in code BD75, I want to say, hold on, let me let me get my stuff together on that. Let me get my promo read right. Da, 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 da. Phone is so slow. Phone is so old. That's why phone is so slow. Anyway, flash while this pulls up. Uh, flashbacks uh, to uh, Pauline uh, Haraka ending uh, Polly Haraka uh, ending his race, uh, leaving pit road before uh, the race ever started uh, at Sonoma. <laughs> oh God! Uh, old Polly Haraka, uh, Duke Duke alumni. Polly Haraka. Uh, he was going to uh, change an NASCAR uh, with uh, something marketing. Uh, obstructive marketing. That's not what he, uh, I don't know. He had, he had some term for it. Anyway, let me, uh, let me get, let me get the read right here.
yeah, BD75. Uh, you get a sticker pack. And let's see. I got some free stickers for you when you get your copy of NASCAR 75 Greatest Drivers Print Magazine. Check it out here at thedailydownforce.com. Uh, just use my promo code BD75 at checkout. I can't wait uh, to see where my stickers end up. That will be the cool thing. So uh, wherever you, uh, if you uh, take advantage of that deal, it would be much appreciated. Helps out the channel and help, helps out the daily downforce as well. So uh, would be appreciated. And wherever you put the stickers, like that would be cool. But they have several different covers too. Like if you're a Kale Yarborough fan, they've got a Kale Yarborough cover. I've actually got that one back here. Uh, and, and I'm, 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 I'm working with that one. So we, we might see a video this week with that one. We will see a video this week with that one. Let me fix that. Uh, and then, uh, the, the, the book is the magazine itself is really good. How do you spell NASCAR is a uh, nap car says William Wagaman. Uh, happy Easter, uh, BB. This race has a uh, Hendrick written all over it today. Says TJ Morshed. uh, thoughts on Matty D and his performance with Viking motorsports. I forgot Matty D was even in the race. Uh, so I'll have to uh, check it out. What channel is the race on today? It's on Fox says William Wagaman. Uh, was NASCAR talk about uh, considering rain tires just to keep fans coming uh, to the track, grabbing fans' money? Ah, uh, I don't know because they tried it. What track did they try it at? Martinsville. I feel like they tried it at a track. I want to say they tried it at Martinsville. I uh, hit the like button. Says like dislike. Uh, the three, the twenty, and the ninety nine have the uh, best paint schemes today. Says one wise guy. Yeah, I didn't even look at the paint schemes. Let's see here. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Ah, uh, they're not, they don't have it immediately where I can see it. Yep, they don't have it immediately where I can see it. Sorry about that. I have to, have to remember to do that for next time. Uh, well, I guess I was wrong saying the rain tires is they are damp tires. I laughed my butt off, says Shy. Yeah, that's what, that's what Kyle Bush called them. Uh, last race on Fox before FS1 starts uh, showing races. Fox has Talladega, Coke 600, and Sonoma. FS1 will have the rest after the night. Tires with tread uh, equals a narrow tire for uh, the short track uh, answer. 2024 ends. He has uh, pace with RCR uh, Alliance, his racecraft and experience is uh, showing results despite. So I think he's going to get at least one win. Uh, I'm not sleeping on uh, on Parker Kligerman. I'm I'm big on Parker Kligerman, so I can't see. I, I'm I'm a really big fan of Parker Kligerman, I should say. So I can't really objectively look at Parker Kligerman's uh, performance and results. So uh, yeah, he uh, it's hard it's hard for me to judge, but I, I think he's a really good race driver, and I'm I'm with you as long as he's got the RCR Alliance there. I think they're going to do big things. I'm expecting at least one win. Uh, two wins definitely wouldn't surprise me. Good, good call there, Leon. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's uh, let's park that uh, eight car in victory lane tonight. Hey, he's he's the best. Uh, he's the best active driver there. Six previous wins would not surprise me at all, and that would be huge for RCR to get a uh, to get a short track win because the short tracks have been where RCR has struggled. They're good everywhere else. Uh, your last car winner today, BB. Uh, first car out. Drum roll. The first car out in today's race uh, is probably going to be, hmm, hmm, that's a good question. I'm going to go with the 42. I'm going to go with the 42. John Hunter Nemechek is going to be the first car out. Uh, I think uh, I think he gets a little retribution here, uh, or it could be Ty Gibbs, but I'm going with John Hunter Nemechek because I feel like he's got more friends this season. He's made more friends this season than uh, Ty Gibbs has. Uh, paint paint schemes are in Discord. Uh, says one wise guy. Yep, I'll have to uh, I'll have to remember to grab them uh, and, and for for the next time. I like Cole Custer's uh, strategy yesterday. Uh, just too little, too late. He should have uh, pitted like 15 laps earlier. Yeah, he was coming for sure. He was on his way. Uh, HMS, uh, and you saw you saw how big tires were with uh, Brennan Poole almost winning the uh, stage there in that one too. So shout out to Brennan Poole. Uh, HMS sucks. Says like this, like Ty Dillon first car out. I'll say uh, Ty uh, Napa uh, Napa going with Ty Dillon. Uh, Ty Dillon in a in a one off on Earth too. Going to get another win there. Uh, Ty Dillon uh, or Austin Ella, <laughs> just one of the Austins. He's not gonna. He's not even gonna. One wise guy's not gonna uh, clarify which Austin. Uh, he's just going to say in Austin uh, uh, and, and Ty Dillon. Uh, one wise guy not seeing the uh, schemes. Uh, let's see. Uh, Austin Dillon, first car out, I bet, says uh, TJ Morshed. He might be because I said he's probably going to get a top 10, and he's just had a, a terrible uh, last two seasons. Uh, I think Parker could take uh, Portland, uh, a super speedway, or even Kansas or Iowa. Yeah, yeah. I don't uh, I don't necessarily disagree with that. Uh, Blondie Berger, do you uh, remember uh, when this race started at 1 o'clock in uh, – the afternoon, uh, just a small question. I remember when all the races started at basically noon. 
Like you would literally, uh, I, I went to my grandpa, grandpa's church back then. So, and my grandpa lived like five minutes from the church. So we literally would get out of church uh, and go uh, watch the race. And uh, it was every other Sunday they would eat. So if it was a day you had to eat at the church, I was just like, oh, my God, stop talking to everybody, Pop. We got to go watch the race. But I'm, my, my Pop, dude, he, he knew everybody uh, in the town. <laughs> so that wasn't happening. So I, I, on those days when we when we were eating, uh, <laughs> God, like it took it took uh, I missed like probably the first hour of the race on those days. Uh, Got to hide some Easter eggs. Uh, have a great Easter and enjoy the race, everyone. Appreciate uh, the time, BB. Appreciate you hanging out there. Say, Kyle, I'm fixing to jump off here in just a few minutes as well. Uh, Toyotas are uh, good on long runs, for sure, for sure. Uh, what up, Mark Barnum? Good to see you on here. I uh, reposted uh, to the front. Uh, so it, it is back in Discord now. Uh, now I see him, says Shaw. Uh, I'm upset. Pull strategy went out the window because of the stage breaks of the pit stop. I lost five, lap, uh, five spots uh, after pitting. Uh, William Wagaman, uh, sorry about that, uh, says William. Uh, oh, it's, uh, it's all good, William. No uh, no worries, my friend. I've been called a lot worse. I actually have uh, Blondie Burger. That's not uh, – maybe maybe I'll go with the uh, M&M look. Maybe I'll diet and we'll, we'll get uh, we'll get Slim Shady Burger. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rebel Bourbon is uh, way cool. There are – there is actually a bunch of really cool schemes. The, the Quaker State one uh, is another good one uh, for Daniel Suarez. Quaker State always hitting, in my opinion. Uh <clears throat> Was I uh, spreading out the uh, grass seed? Forgot about the stream. Oh, it's all good, Mar Barnum. Uh, you can catch me uh, on the on the uh, next one. Uh, let's see. My commute for work has uh, added uh, an hour every day since the bridge is out. Oh my God, that sucks, dude. That's horrible. That is horrible, man. Uh, that that's uh, I can't believe the way the bridge went completely down like that. Like normally, I don't know. I guess it's an older bridge, but normally you see them take out one pylon, you'd see like maybe two sections of it fall down. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm an engineer, but I'm not that type of engineer. I'm an associate's degree engineer, but I was, I was expecting – it's an older bridge too, though, so I don't know. I was expecting it to have something like that built into it, but I think they built it in the 70s, so uh, probably before they had uh, that particular type of uh, uh, technology in there. But normally when you see something like that, you see two sections, uh, maybe three of the bridge go down, but it, it looked like maybe four or five sections of the bridge went down when that thing – when that joker uh, – he hit. I mean, it's like it's like shattering glass, right? If you hit the right frequency, or if you hit the right spot in the glass, the whole thing goes. And that's that's I guess that's kind of like what happens there. Uh, let's see. Uh, my Sunday uh, mass ended sharply at eleven forty-five, and my <laughs> and my dad being uh, the shop mechanic, everyone had to say hi or report to uh, TSB. Uh, I would be uh, pulling his trousers to, uh, to get our family home uh, by noon. Says Leon's Automotive. Yeah, that for sure. Uh, town mechanic, I got you. I knew what you meant there. Uh, Brent bridge that went down like uh, dominoes. Yeah. Once again, uh, uh, prayers, thoughts and prayers to the five uh, people that are missing there. Uh, <clears throat> uh, number 99, best rap by far, says Shaw. Uh, it fell uh, three days after the bridge's birthday. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, man, uh, I never uh, drove uh, on the, the 695 uh, bridge, but uh, all the freight is now uh, stranded uh, for ships and trains, except for uh, Sparrow Point Terminal. Yeah, that's that's probably the worst part. It's, it's messing up the harbor, too. Uh, so that's uh, that's that's a terrible one. Uh, number twenty mobile uh, one top three. Oh yeah, that number twenty uh, uh, Christopher Bell's mobile scheme this year is is the only one that was better was actually uh, Kobayashi's uh, when he ran the road course. That's been the best mobile scheme, but Christopher Christopher Bell's uh, is definitely uh, the second best. How about those Iowa Hawkeyes yesterday? Says Mark Barnum. They're they're getting it done. We'll see how far uh, we'll see how far she can take them. Uh, DC shut down. Uh, the Capitals and uh, Wizards uh, moved to Virginia. Uh, has some of the uh, best racetracks, though, says uh, TJ Morshed. Yeah, Virginia. Uh, Dominion. For my money, Dominion is probably the best racetrack in Virginia other than Richmond. Uh, so that would be uh, that would be my two cents. Langley, you got to throw – like, go to Langley if you've got, like, a week to spend because you've got all the NASA stuff over there at Langley. You can go sightsee and, and look at all that stuff. Uh, but but Lang or I would assume they've got, like, a big NASA thing over there. Uh, but Langley Langley's another one. Uh, it's probably fun to watch at Langley. It's not fun to race at Langley because you got to take your haulers out from the infield, and there's like, I don't know. It just feels like the sun's beating down on you. It's hot as crap. There's nowhere to sit because you. Uh, it's Langley is Langley is a tough race on the uh, on the crew. Uh, tough race on the drivers too. You see a lot of heat exhaustion in the summertime at Langley. Uh, Pegasus schemes are awesome. Says I uh, one wise guy as a young kid attending Sunday mass. I recall Sunday prayers being a, an imitation of the pre-race invocation. As I would send my blessings uh, to all the drivers uh, for a good race, 
uh, says Leon's Automotive for sure, for sure. Uh, first time uh, not going to Richmond uh, since 1999. Says so like this, like that's terrible, man. I hate, I hate that it played out like that for you. Uh, watched the last stage yesterday. Uh, is all I saw yesterday. It was a pretty good race, Mark Barnum. So you missed a good one. All right, that's uh, that's we reached the end of this one. Looks like Kyle Larson is everybody's favorite for this race as well. Uh, of course, I'm picking him too. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. I'll catch you guys, uh, after the race, hopefully we get it in, uh, but I'll catch you whenever the race ends and until then, peace.